bloody sod's law this arrived today. <laughs> I ordered it for him um, the day before he went uh, so it would make it easier for him to pee and stuff with me holding him. Thank you Gio. Thank you buddy. I'm so glad I haven't sold the Mini yet. When I'm driving along I can literally feel him behind me. I know he's not behind me but I can I can because this is where he was really happy this car this was like the car he was really happy with his head out the window and um, I can feel that whilst driving I really really can well I come to one of Sherpy's usual walks um, I bought a little red it's weird I'm not grabbing a lead I'm not, um, I'm walking on my own. <laughs> Even that seems weird, just walking on your own. Just seems very weird. It's weird. It's going to take some getting used to, it really is. I think my problem is when I'm home. That's going to be my main problem. Is um, because everything there is him. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd come to a graveyard because people are sad in graveyards. So if I'm sat here walking around looking sad in a graveyard, it's completely normal. If it's around a town or something, it's uh, a little bit weird. <laughs> so, yeah. Plus, this is where me and Chirp used to walk. We used to do this five treat, this five treat throwing just over there. <laughs> There's the treat place. <sighs> oh, Sherpy. I might have to bring something here as well actually. I might have to bring um, something just to hang, hang on a tree or something. I don't know what, but... Because this is what... We didn't used to come here all, all the time. It's just as you got older we used to come here, but... Yeah, maybe I could find something to hang up. How lovely that is. I'm literally just driving around Newquay at the moment. I'm, I bought a coffee. I'm just trying to get used to things without shirt. But it's, thing is, if I do my usual routine without him, I'm going to notice more. It's going to be sadder because he's not there. I need to try and think of things to do, which are new, which aren't reminders of Sherpa. Um, yeah. I think one of the things is when when you do have a dog, especially an older dog, you're so restricted to the stuff you can do. You, your world becomes quite small because you're looking after him. You, you can't go on certain holidays. You can't go out in certain temperatures. You can't go to certain places. You know you. I'm not saying it in a horrible way at all. I'm. I'm just saying your your world gets smaller and smaller and smaller because you're 100% dedicated to making that dog happy. Now, once the dog isn't there anymore, it's like you're like you've been in captivity, and suddenly the gates are open and they're saying, "Swim! You can swim. You're free." Um, again, I'm not saying this in a horrible way at all, because Sherpa is everything to me. He, he was, he, he was, and is everything to me. And I'll still be saying we for a long time. We're going here. We're doing this. Um, but you know what I mean. I think you'll understand what I mean. I don't think I'll get any backlash for saying it. But you've just suddenly got all this stuff you can do again, and it's it's scary. You're not used to it. The other thing I'm I'm trying to do is I'm going to try and go to places 
where I haven't been. If I stick to the same routine that I had with Sherpa, like the graveyard today, it was sad. It was really sad. Sherpa wasn't there. He wasn't walking next to me. I didn't get him out of the car. You know, we didn't play treat throw and we didn't do any of that. And it's, it's sad. It's really horrible. So if I do new things, then that memory won't be there at that place. Um, it's, it's so difficult to try and get through. But yeah, like I said, I think the house is going to be my main problem. Um, because that was all for him. That was all there for him. So, uh, yeah. But these videos are helping. They're really helping me. So, um, I know someone's listening. I don't have to sit in front of somebody and talk. And, you know, I know you guys are listening. So, I'm, I'm very grateful for it. Um, because you will help me get through this. Uh, I know we'll lose a lot of people who used to watch for Sherpa, but um, some of you die-hard ones, <laughs> you're going to stick with us and you're going to help us through it. And uh, I'll help you guys through it as well, because it won't just stop, it will carry on. Um, somehow, the memory of him will carry on. Just come back, have another sniff of this. <laughs> There he is. Ah, oh dear. Where are you, buddy? See, as soon as I get home, it's um. This is when it becomes most hard when I get home. Gonna get the van now. The van's all done, so that's gonna give me something to focus on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and pick that up now. Ooh. Right. I think Bat Dog's doing a um, a flyby out of respect, like a salute. <laughs> Still patrolling. I hope so. I do hope so. I've left his bowl of water in there. <laughs> Bloody hell, I had a little panic attack then. I thought I'd lost the harness. I left it in the back of the Jeep. <laughs> Flipping heck. I would have oh that would have been all awful. Still haven't seen him yet. He's not this bowl of water still there, but I've not seen him patrolling. Well, this is the, the second full day after he's gone. Um, I really need to cut the lawn. I just haven't got the energy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so difficult. You just feel sick and you, you're just replaying things over and over and over and over. But I know it was the best thing to do. I, I really do. I I'm glad I know that. And I'm glad he went the way he did because, you know, the vets, t I mean, I, I did want him, I wanted him to go in the garden. That, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, you know, if you're not, you know, if you're not going to make it, do it now. <laughs> go in the garden because that's what you love. But thinking about it afterwards now, I think to myself, if he did go in the garden, I would have then had to pick up his body, sort you know, put it in the back of the car, sort out the cremital. You know, I would have had to have done all that myself with his body there. And I think that would have been a lot more traumatizing than like when he was going, if if he if he made like a a little squeal or a shook or anything like that, that would haunt me for the rest of my life. So the fact that it only took six seconds for him to shut his eyes and stop breathing that that's fantastic because it, it 
just seemed like he was falling asleep for him it was painless you know he was out of discomfort he was uh he just fell asleep and he was gone and for me it was validation that it was the right thing to do because that quick he was ready he was ready to go um with the liver and spleen the problems um yeah, the spleen could have come out, the liver could have, they could have taken half the liver away. But I mean, come on, he couldn't walk. He could not walk. I was holding holding him up to go for a poo, go for a wee. Um, he was awful. And if you imagine the muscle in his back legs wouldn't have come back after, yeah, after he had his liver and spleen taken off. Um, he still would have had the walking issues. So imagine putting him through that big operation then having to carry him in and out all the time, helping him in the garden to move from place to place. He still wouldn't be able to go play date, see his friends or anything like that. Um, he would have had to have recovered from all of that. Uh, the infection rate is huge once you have those operations. Um, he still wouldn't have had use of his back legs because that would have been another problem as well. So I'm 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 a hundred percent sure which is also nice that it was the right thing to do because if there's the slightest doubt if i think i should have waited longer i should have brought him home i should have um you know he had another couple of months left or i should have i i don't have any of that because i know it was the right time even though i selfishly wish i had brought him home because i don't want him to be gone it's horrendous with him gone it was um it was the right time so yeah i think that's that's nice the only one regret i have and it's quite a big regret now um because i've got all these cameras everywhere i can i can look back at the last night he was here and the last day he was here and the one regret i do have is not lifting him up onto my bed the night before he went to the vets but i was under the impression that he was going to be fixed i thought it was going to be you know like a little disc problem or something like that i thought it was going to be fixed i didn't realize that was his last night and when i look back on the camera even though he's on his bed he was comfy on his well he wasn't comfortable because of the the mass in him but all through the night he kept sort of looking up and then looking around to the bedroom so i don't know if he wanted to get up and come in or you know so if that's my only regret i should have lifted him off his bed and put him on my bed um but the little sod probably wouldn't have been comfortable anyway he would have been like oh get away from me um but yeah that's that's the that's the one thing that's gonna haunt me a little bit mostly um but i mean in the morning we we went outside in the garden and we sat in his shelter just for about two and a half hours in the morning before we went to the vets. So that was nice. We were spending time together properly then um, in his place. So that, that was good. Um, but yeah, that not lifting him off onto the bed on that last night, that would, that's going to be difficult to get over. Um, but I didn't know. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, how are you guys? So yeah, today's the day he's being picked up from the vets uh, and taken to the crematorium. Um, that, that's today. It's a couple of days after he's died. So that's that's quite nice to hear. It is still very strange that his body's somewhere because, you know, it, it should be here and it's not very nice. One thing I wish I did was took more pictures, but towards the end he... Um, he, you know, I didn't want to shove a camera in his face all the time, but I do wish I took a lot more of these pictures. Um, even though we've got like hundreds and hundreds of videos of him, it's, um, I think these are more special. But yeah, lots of things that we wish I'd done, but I mean, overall, I'm really happy how how it went uh, I mean look he's so beautiful the the year he had here it was just over a year was perfect it was absolutely perfect 
he um he adored this place the garden he he loved it so you know yeah that's comforting that we did the right thing still feel sick though <laughs> I'm going to try and eat something today. Um, I, I haven't felt like eating something for the last couple of days, um, but I'm going to try today because I need to move. For, I need to try and move forward somehow. And but you just lose your appetite. You literally just don't want to eat. It's horrible. See, I'm <laughs> oh, it's happening again. <laughs> oh dear.